Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shaha and welcome to our YouTube channel Cognitive Coders. I hope you guys are doing well and today this is our part 39 video of our Pyspark interview question series. So uh, if you have not watched our previous company based Pyspark interview series videos, uh, you, I would recommend you guys for see that there are lots of important interview questions I have discussed from various uh, companies, various MNCs, also from product based companies. So if you still have not watched that video, if you still have not uh, performed that so, uh, problem solution, I would recommend you guys watch that, perform that uh, solution by yourself in your own system. Okay, so, uh, so once you practice better, okay, it will improve uh, you only, okay. So without practice, you will not able to improve your skill. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we can start our today today's uh, session. Okay. Uh, so hmm, today we will see the uh, one of the question from EI EY. Okay, Einstein. Uh, sorry, sorry, Ernest Young. Okay, it's a big four company. All all he knows about that. Okay, so. So in UI in their technical interview, what kind of question they have asked that we will see? Okay, so this is a not not easy kind of question. It's a uh, I can say moderate okay moderate level question. So uh, you have to think how uh, the question is. After that, you have to uh, uh, based on your thought, you have to create your thought process first. After that, you start your execution. Okay. I would recommend you to follow this kind of approach okay whenever you are performing any kind of complicated or mid mid level thing okay don't go directly uh, to the to the answer okay so before starting uh, I want to introduce this is our channel if you still have not subscribed I would recommend you guys please subscribe see the videos there are lots of videos for interview and also learning um, uh, data engineering learning purpose okay these are the ADF factory videos these are the Pyspark videos Pyspark functional uh, real-time scenarios video okay you you guys can go ahead and see okay so let's go uh, let's see uh, our today's thing okay let's start so what they ask so first I, I have imported all the functions and all whatever it is required to solve our the question okay so they basically uh, they basically ask they, they they have given this kind of one uh, table okay so where factory code is there queues are there queues means the product uh, product code am amount is there okay how much amount uh, it, it has sold uh, on the, uh, this these dates from which factories and what are the queues so uh, these are given here okay so based on that they want query to get cumulative percentage of amount uh, using PySpark and uh, after that you have to perform one gradation based on the cumulative percentage if the cumulative percentage is less than equals to 80 percent then best it will be a it if it is less than equals to 95 percent it will be other than it is C okay and this cumulative percentage uh, will be performed only factory basis okay so you if you see the output then only you will be able to understand first try to understand the output okay because uh, without th this understanding you, you will go for for uh, solve of the question it will be uh, it will be a wrong s solution okay so basically mm, they have given this factory co uh, factory code Q code and amount the main funda here it is uh, based on the factory code they are extracting the percentage amount extracting the cumulative percentage of based on that uh, the gradation will come okay so basically a001 a, these are these factories how much sales happened based on that we need to get the percentage okay so also percentage percentage is nothing but tot total amount okay based on that it the percentage will come so a a, a this a001 factory uh, how much how much amount it uh, it has sold so it is 8 plus uh, 8 plus 6 1400 14 plus 2 uh, so 1600 so 1600 
so uh, for this cube percentage amount would be 200 by 1600 okay and for this cube the SQL it is 600 by uh, 1600 so th like this we got our percentage okay and the same the total will be based on the factory partition okay after that you have to perform the percentage on that total only for th that factory window what I performed here and after that the cumulative also same so uh, 12 12.5 uh, 12.5 plus 37.5 this is 50 uh, 50 plus 50 100 and once again the factory got changed uh, another factory it is come first first one is 40 it is okay 40 plus 60 100 okay based on that the grade or gradation also uh, come okay so this is the thing whatever it would be the uh, the partition would be based on factory whatever uh, whatever calculation you, you will do whatever transformation you will do so let's see uh, le uh, we'll we'll st start to uh, performing this thing okay we will able to understand the uh, code gradually okay first what we need to do so the based on this output if you if you see so w what are the new things so basically first they uh, they are extracting they we have to perform this we have to perform this they want this uh, this kind of one column factory skew code where this factory and skew code are concatenating first we will do this and we will create one this column okay so I have already imported all the functions and window here okay so what I will do df equals to df dot with column I'll take this thing and here concat function I'll use concat okay call skew code okay first factory code I'll take and after that I'll take the call skew code SKU POD okay done so factory code and skew code if I'll see the data in df dot <coughs> show okay so I'll take it take it in new variable okay that would be better so that df will not get changed direct the main df will not get changed because here main df is taken as df variable okay so now if I'll run it so now my factory SQ code the concatenation value it is it just came okay whatever it is in this SQ code column okay after that we need to get uh, this percentage amount for getting the cumulative percentage so percentage amount percentage amount would be on the factory window what will be the total amount based on that we need to get the percentage so for that what I will do I will use the window function here new df equals to new df dot with column with column then what uh, uh, with column then percentage amount I will take here uh, this is the thing ok so in percentage amount what I will do so first we need to get the total based on the partition factory code ok so that uh, first I, I am showing you to get the total based on the factory code partition so what I will perform sum of amount so basically mm, factory co uh, uh, factory skew factory code ke adhar pe hum logo ko uh, uh, total amount nikalna hai pehle on the basis of factory code so for that over I will perform the over window over over window dot partition by partition by 
partition by just only factory code factory code ok if I will perform this it will give me it will give me the total total sales total amount of sales on the factory window for this factory 1600 is the total for this factory 1000 is the total this factory 1200 is the code total so now for getting the percentage we need to just perform the dividition so call what I will do this ok done now for getting the percentage I will just add into I'm getting a percentage by this. Okay, that's good. Now I got the percentage amount. After that, what I need to do? I need to get the cumulative percentage. So for getting the cumulative percentage, the same way, new df equals to new df dot width column. Cumulative percentage is nothing but we it will increase the uh, value with with summation of the previous percentage, previous amount percentage. Okay. Mm. With column, so I'll take I'll take this column name from here. This is nothing but this. After that, we'll perform the cumulative percentage here. So for that, the same thing based on the percentage amount, we'll get it. So I'll perform the sum of this will just perform the over partition by partition by factory code and here I'll just give one another thing order by to get the cumulative one order by this will be way you can give a percentage amount also or you can give amount also anything okay because both both you uh, uh, will be your uh, both will be your uh, the ordering value okay from here only it is coming the percentage so you can give anything okay So if you perform this, mm, percentage amount, okay, here I forgot to give the bracket comma, okay, once again window, silly mistake, you have to keep it in your mind. Now I'm getting the cumulative percentage 12.5, 12.5. It is 12.5 plus 37.5, 50, 50. Okay. These are the thing. Okay. I'm getting this value. Now for getting the grade of A, B, C, D, what I need to do? The same new df equals to new df dot with column. take grade ok then we'll we'll perform the um, win condition here we'll perform the win condition when this cumulative percentage 
percentage greater than equals to 80 as we will consider it as a based on this 80a 95 less than a 95 b then it's done don't once again I'll take t when condition when I'll copy it the cumulative percentage is 95 then it will be considered as B okay and once again last one otherwise it would be considered as C okay it's done bracket close brackets are okay let me check no no here one thing I missed that's why it is giving me the error here I need to give this it will give me the error otherwise I have missed it when call So it is giving me the correct answer. You can see. Okay. So this is the way to get the uh, cumulative percentage, and based on this, uh, we need to give, we need to segregate it in grade wise. Okay. So this question uh, it was asked uh, in the EY uh, technical interview, data engineering te technical interview round. Uh, if you are if you are preparing or if you if you if you have upcoming interviews in UI you have to you have to perform this kind of question by yourself in your home uh, so that <coughs> you can you can do it uh, uh, as fast as possible because they used to give times of uh, 10 minutes something five uh, five to seven minutes or maximum 10 minutes to solve these questions okay uh, so if you if you if you have any kinds of doubt you can directly connect with me via topmate it it's all the services are completely free or <laughs> if you have any kind of doubt you can comment on the video comment section so that i can understand the uh, what are wh what are you guys required what are thing you guys required what uh, anything uh, uh, anything positive or negative thing any feedback you just provide on video comment section so that i can understand uh, that uh, what is your requirement and is our content is enough for your interview preparation or not or we need to improve anywhere that also I can understand okay so I would recommend you guys if you still have not subscribed I would subscribe our YouTube channel and help us to grow our community because without your help we will not able to make our channel bigger okay so help us uh, and stay tuned with us for the next video and thank you for watching our video. Bye.